I want to talk a little bit about like how to use visuals in different ways. So, mm-hmm. um, so say you have a screen and there are two columns, right? So there's two columns. The we have a picture here, and then um, a call to action here. So you would want and say the pictures of a person, and they're like, uh, it's like a profile. You want to have the picture not face away from the call to action, but towards. So the person's profile should be looking towards the call to action because what people generally look for, like when they're looking at a site is, that has a person on it, they're looking at where the eyes are mm-hmm. and they're looking at where the eyes are going and the face is going. So by doing that, you're drawing attention to the call to action because you're looking at the person and the person's looking at the call to action. So it's not just about like, is this picture relevant? Is it helpful? But it's also about those like little things that people don't necessarily like think about. And in UX, there's a lot of like rules like that, Um, rules about uh, proximity um, of things. So like um, the closer things are, the more related they are to each other. So if you're trying to create like, a card that has like a title and a description of a course and a button, you don't want them to be like super far away from each other, right? Because then you're not going to go know they're related. But you also want to use like white space to like let things breathe. Um, so there, it's all about balance and trying to figure out what's what's uh, what works the best. I really love this website. Um, it's called Laws of UX, if anyone has ever seen it. And it goes over all these different types of principles, the uh, gestalt principles, um, different things that will help you with visuals and designing different types of experiences as well.